Hello, my productive friends, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Pomodoro Technique. So what is the Pomodoro Technique? Well, it's a protocol where you want to break your work sessions and your work blocks into 25 minute chunks of work. And then after you go through a 25 minute timer, you put on a five minute to a 15 minute timer for a quick break. Now for some, these numbers may seem a bit arbitrary, 25 minute work blocks and then five minute breaks. Why do we do that? Well, it's a small enough amount of time that you aren't going to get bored with the task or you're not gonna get that sort of fatigued feeling, but it's also enough time to get some meaningful work done. Now, have you ever heard people say that they work well under pressure? Well, what they're referring to is Parkinson's law. Now, what Parkinson's law says is that you will essentially complicate work to fit inside of the time that you have allotted to complete the work. So, in other words, if you only have 25 minutes to complete a task, you're going to only focus on the most important things while you're working on that task. And that's why this is so powerful. This also allows you to reward yourself as you complete these 25 minute sessions, you're really going to start building up that motivation and that positive self image of yourself is going to rise as well as you start completing tasks. So 25 minutes on, I get a bunch of stuff done and then I reward myself right after that with a five to 10 minute break where I can simply go grab a cup of coffee, walk out back and enjoy the sun or you know, maybe even do a quick workout to keep you sharp and focused. Because these are such small blocks of time, it makes it very easy to grasp the idea of actually getting things done. And if you look at your yearly goals, oftentimes you can break your yearly goals down into quarterly goals, and then your quarterly goals down into monthly goals, and then your monthly goals down into weekly. And from weekly goals, you can break all of those goals down into actions that you can take on a Pomodoro level. So when you're planning your week, plan your week out in Pomodoros and there you go. It's just a bunch of 25 minute work sessions that you need to complete in order to reach your biggest, most grand goals. And this is a really good way to make sure that you're making good progress towards them. So how about a few practical tips, eh? So my first tip for using the Pomodoro technique is to use the Endel app. Now Endel is really just my replacement for audio in the background when I'm trying to work rather than, you know, pulling up Spotify. I just throw on my headphones and I start using Endel. And a cool feature that Endel has, well, it has lots of cool features. You know, it can track your biometrics using the Aura Ring. It can also kind of track your heart rate based on your Apple Watch if you have one. And then from there, what it will do is it will create music that's suited for your current heart rate, your current readiness, all sorts of different metrics. So it's completely custom music designed to help you focus, relax, recover, or sleep. And the app is pretty neat because it actually comes with this cool little timer function. So for example, you can turn on your focus music for 25 minutes, and then after that, you can change it over to a relax session for a five to 10 minute break. And if you just have like, you don't need wireless headphones, but if you have like some good Bluetooth headphones, you can literally just walk around your apartment or your house or wherever you're working, you know, even just your office, or you can go take a walk outside and Endel will come with you on your phone. I have it on my MacBook as well. It's nice to have Endel going all the time because when you get into that focus session, you can turn on the focus beats and really get in the zone. And once you do that enough times, you'll start to get used to, okay, it's time to focus. This is my music. This is my atmosphere that I'm used to focusing in. And then when it's time for a break, you turn on the relax or the recovery music. And it's just a chill time. It's, uh, you know, almost meditative in a sense, and you get into that focused flow state when you use the Pomodoro technique. There's also this great website called pomofocus.io. I definitely recommend trying that one out if you don't use Endel for your audio or whatever, and you don't have a timer built in. You can just start a Pomodoro over here, and you can either choose from a short break or a long break. It also features a nice place where you can enter a few tasks into a list, so if you're the type of person that's a minimalist and you don't have 
you know, a software for your tasks and you wanna just keep it very simple, Pomo Focus works great because you can just type in a few tasks here. You don't need some fancy paid software or anything like that. You can literally just type your tasks in and hit start and then manage your progress throughout the day. There's also some great YouTube videos out there that are basically Pomodoro timers with music in the background or some of them don't even have music in the background. It's just the timer and a nice bell. That is an option as well. I will leave a few links to those in my video description. So just scroll down there and check out some of those videos if you are new to the Pomodoro technique. Anyways, I hope that this video was helpful. It was very quick, but I just wanted to share this tidbit of information that's helped me be more productive and really just kind of stick to the work that I want to get done in a given time. Uh, it's super helpful because it compresses it down. Instead of saying, I'm just gonna allocate three hours to this thing, try to see how much you can really fit into a Pomodoro or two. It's surprising what you can fit into that small amount of time versus um, you know, just setting a super long time horizon for you to get something done. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment below, and then go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell notification button to make sure that you're actually getting the notifications. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in future videos. But until then, have a productive day. We'll see you.